just had a first date? Wondering how it went? You're in the right place. In this video, we're going to dive deep into everything you need to know to figure out if you had a great first date or a not so great one. Here are 11 signs that your first date went really well. Number one, you felt that the date went well. Before we get stuck into the nitty gritty of what happened on your date, it's important to ask yourself how you feel the date went. If you walked away from the date feeling somewhat positive, then that's generally a really good sign. It's more than likely he felt the same thing. But it doesn't mean he is attracted to you. It just means you both enjoyed each other's company. First impressions are important, and how you felt when being in the presence of this guy are usually good indicators of whether chemistry or potential for future chemistry. Number two, it went longer than expected. One of the very best signs that your date went well is when it lasts for longer than you initially planned. You may have met up to see a movie together and then ended up getting dinner afterward and then having a drink too to prolong the evening. Why is this a good sign? After each activity, you both have the perfect opportunity to make an excuse and leave if you are un uncomfortable. There is no need to get a friend to bail you out or make up an excuse. You simply signal the night is over and that is that. The fact you both want to stay and the date goes on is a sign both of you felt something. Number three, you laughed a lot. Let's face it, we all know that life is full of plenty of ups and downs. You want to find someone you can make it through those tough times with and build plenty of happy memories together. If you found the date flow with ease and you couldn't help but laugh out loud every now and then, it's a great sign. You both have plenty of sense of humour which will bode well for the future. Number four, you have chemistry. As we mentioned above, feeling the chemistry isn't the be all and end all when it comes to a first date, but it can be a good sign. There are some subtle signs that you feel a degree of chemistry towards each other, and it all comes down to body language. Did he match your smile? Did he marry your moves? Did he stare into your eyes as he spoke to you? Did he lean in closer to hear you better? These are all signs he is interested in you and hooked on every word. If you notice this body language from them, it's a good sign he likes you a lot. Number five, you both talked a lot. The last thing you want on a first date is one person talking up all the talking time. Some people can go on and on about themselves, their life, their job and more. When this happens, they are either very self-focused, not a great sign when entering into a new relationship, or they could be trying to fill a void. Did he allow you space to talk, but you just didn't take it? This is a sign that you perhaps weren't that into him and didn't find it easy to talk. Did he talk without a break and never ask about you? This is a sign that he is into himself and perhaps doesn't have room for anyone else in his life right now. Think back to your first date and how the conversation flowed. It is very easy to gorge whether or not it was equal on both sides. Number six, you're intimate at the end of the night. Back up, back up. Intimate doesn't mean sex. Some couples like to take things slowly and get to know each other before they dive down that rabbit hole. Intimacy on a first date can also include hugging or kissing at the end of the night, or perhaps even hand-holding as he walks you to the car or door. These are great signs that you are both attracted to each other and see each other as more than just friends. Physical contact also plays a role in developing that chemistry. Number seven, you both put the phones away. It's no secret that in this day and age, we all have far too much reliance on our mobile phones. It can take a lot to distract us from our devices. So if you find they stay away for the date, you know you are onto something. We automatically start scrolling our phones when we are bored. Or go that step further and message a friend to bail us out of this boring date. Sometimes you might just feel the urge to check your phone, but find that you were too polite to do so. Even experiencing this urge is a sign things might not be going as well as you think. If you manage to get through a night with no phones and no urges to check your phone, then it means that you are both too busy enjoying each other's company. Number eight. They remember the details. You can both smile and nod your way through conversation. It's a skill we all learn when we are sitting in boring lectures and dreaming about places we would rather be. If he is able to recall things you mentioned earlier in the night, 
and delves further into these topics, then he is into you. He isn't just nodding and smiling, he's actually listening to what you have to say. This isn't just a great sign that the date went well, but also a great sign for the future of your relationship. We all dream about having a man who listens to us day in and day out. Number 9. You have things in common. Sure, everyone, including Hollywood, will tell you that opposites attract. But it is important that you also have things in common. Having too many differences can mean you aren't compatible. For example, he eats meat, you're a vegetarian. You exercise daily, he hates it. You love the outdoors, he loves TV. Too many of these differences can lead to disaster. You both like to spend your time far too differently, while there is always room for change and negotiation, if the differences are too vast, it may not be worth it. Take a look at the common interests you did share on the date. Did you both hold similar values and have similar interests? Even just a couple make the perfect base for a relationship. Number 10. You talk about future plans. If there is ever a certain sign your first date went well, it's talking about future plans together. If a guy isn't into you, then he isn't going to bring up the idea of a second date. After sharing a night with you, listening and sharing, he may pick up a common interest and suggest you try it together in the near future. For example, he may suggest a movie he thinks you might like or suggest heading to a museum he knows you are interested in. This shows he is keen to see you again and interested in that second date. It also shows he's been paying attention to that first date. Number 11. You added each other on social media. If you both knew each other before this first date, then this won't apply to you. But if this is your first time meeting and you add each other on social media, there is something there. Sure, some of us aren't selective about who we are friends with on Facebook. At the same time, we aren't going to add a date we have no intention of ever seeing again. Knowing this, if you are both keen to taking the relationship online, it means there is a connection there you both want to follow with.